Taurus, welcome. A very special Mercury retrograde heart spread reading. Gonna read today uh, for the person that you can't get out of your head, the one that got away. If you have this kind of energy, it doesn't matter if you're single, it doesn't matter if you're coupled, you could be lying next to your soulmate, that's cool. Maybe there's someone that you still have a little unfinished business, you know, need a little clarity on. So I call this a forensic reading. So we're going to go back romantically, emotionally, take a look forensically at this relationship. This is conceived as a relationship that's on your mind, uh, something you can't get out of your head, not something you're necessarily struggling with. I've just come out in a normal heart spread to reach you and the person on your mind. So be cl to be clear what this is about, not about singles. It's about us. It's about what's going on in your mind. Mercury retrograde is not time to go hooking up from exes. You might have heard that. It's time to review what went on with that ex and think about why it didn't work, what we learned from it or didn't learn, what we need to learn. That's what it's about. And that's why they're valuable. Uh, it's mostly what uh, it's all about understanding our own mind, our own processes, how we think and how we communicate. So let's look now. Pre-shuffle, trust me. Five of Wands, this is you, in and around this person. I gotta go back with this to the time when you met um, this person, which may have been in the past. Um, so, it was at a time of your life that, you know, these are adolescents, uh, kind of, you know, they're, they're, they're really playing here, uh, but they're learning to be soldiers one day. They wanna be knights, so right now it's batons. Later it'll be, you know, swords, and it'll be real. So this is going back definitely to your adolescence. Um, this person is involved with you from your adolescence, high school, early, uh, late teens, college, um, and they would have been part of a group. And you would have had a, a I see this five of one, I just get the feeling. It's not really fighting, could be sports, you know. Uh, it's some, uh, you're a group of people that you're jostling with and engaging with uh, here at Taurus. And they're from one of this uh, group of people here. Um, so this may have been someone that you actually grew up with, certainly someone you grew up around, uh, someone you knew when you were quite young. Really picking up strong on these te teenage years here. Um, let's see, been a, you know, the relationship you had with them would have been, you know, it, it's not, uh, might have been the fighting, uh, but it could have been just r uh, witty repartee a razor wit, you know, and you maybe liked it, and you were fast, and you were about both back and forth, but could have gotten some, a lot of passion, a lot of passion here. They're, come, they're having the lovers, so very much unlike the Aries read with this um, forensic read, you know, as we go back, they came to you with a lot of energy of the lovers, and, you know, they might have been uh, submit, submitting more than you. Um, you might have been in some kind of a defensive position with this Five of Wands energy, you know, as compared to them, you know. Um, Taurus, you might have an Aries Venus. And, you know, an Aries Venus uh, wants people to sort of like, they don't want a passive person. They want someone who's going to push back a little bit. And I kind of get that from this person, so that might be helpful there. It's like there might have been a dynamic that you may or may not have been aware of at the time, you know, that may involve literally um, this uh, Aries Venus energy. Uh, that you might have in your natal chart if you do, okay? Um, and this could manifest in so many different ways. You know, as things are getting sexual when you're young, it's kind of always good, but there's just something that it leaves you yearning a little unfulfilled, and they're only just saying, but I don't understand, I want you, I love you, I'll give you anything, you do anything you want with me, I'm yours. You know, and you're just like, you know, I don't know what I want to do with you, I want you to, I want you to push back a little bit, you know? Um, and maybe you don't even know that, so just energetically it comes back as this could be some kind of frustration, even sexual frustration, uh, you know, uh, being a little too hard, being a little too forceful uh, with them, sort of being a little angry with them. And they, you, they would not, I don't think, have even understood why. It's like, why? I don't understand. All I do is love you. All I do is love you. All I do is give to you my love. And it's like, why are you angry at me, Taurus? could always be vice versa with these things. You, queen of Wands. Now, this is how you're feeling about the person. <laughs> it's totally, it's kind of what I'm saying. So, Five of Wands, now the way you're feeling about the Queen of Wands, and you're probably dominating them. And there's a tremendous amount of passion here. 
Uh, even if you're a female, someone's going to be in a dominant position. Um, you also have the lion here, Leo energy coming in. Um, so, you know, I wanted to feel Leo energy in this too, you know. Um, there's Aries energy, there's Leo energy because it wants to dominate. It's strong, you know, uh, animal passions, you know. Uh, Black Moon Lilith might be relevant in yourself and in this relationship somehow in synastry with you guys. Then strong sexual passions here. Uh, around them, you would have felt like extra confident, extra beautiful. Yeah, they were like telling you, you're amazing, you're beautiful, you're incredible. You know, you're a god, you're a goddess, you know. Hormones are flowing. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Holy shit. Just look at the difference. So, here's your person. The way they feel about you is the Ace of Cups. Exactly what I've been saying. You, they give you, they open up their heart and give it to you with just completely and totally. And here you are combative and this is not bad, but very strong, feeling good about yourself, dominant. You know, remember you're probably young here too. You don't know yourself yet. You're learning about yourself. And this person is way more submissive. Um, I could make some guesses as to what their astrology would be, but you know who this is. Um, and with the Ace of Cups, I mean totally and completely. Like they would have wanted to marry you, you were everything to them. And I guarantee you, when you say energies can switch here, they would be damn well the person that 20, 30, 40, 50 years later is gonna be thinking of you, you know, because uh, you did lit them up, you know. But I think I just get this sense maybe with you, there was a little bit of a, you maybe didn't even understand it, but a little bit of a dissatisfaction Kind of like they weren't enough, they weren't enough. It's like, it's like there's a really good meal, but it just left you a little hungry. Like it really, you want more. The star. This is advice from spirit. Wow, hopes, dreams, and wishes card. I say a little bit like the other reading. How I conceive of this being that it's a, looking at Mercury retrograde energy. Something in her past needs to be integrated. Um, is if by understanding this is how you will achieve your hopes and dreams and wishes that's why you gotta understand Mercury retrograde it's like just going you think of this person usually fondly and then you call them or God forbid whatever text them and then your next thing you know it's like but that's not what this is for this is for understanding all of this what went on why was it the way it was? Why are you still always left thinking about it? Why do you feel there's something unresolved? You know, um, it's like you wanted them to give you something that they couldn't give, you know? It's like they gave you everything, but that wasn't enough because everything's not what you wanted. That makes sense, you know? Um, you, you wanted them to stand up for themselves. You wanted them to push back. You know, I think with the Aries Venus, it's like they, if a person doesn't, Aries is the self, you know? So if your person doesn't have a strong sense of self, uh, it, it frustrates the Aries energy of love. And, you know, so literally, you know, a lot of times you don't do real well with people. They could be the most giving, selfless person, you know, literally like the Libra energy from the opposite, the seventh house. And it's like leaves you just a little bit annoyed or, or frustrated or even can be angry kind of energy. But I think with the star here, um, there's like a promise that you can have this same kind of energy um, that you're thinking about with them by kind of understanding the dynamics here. Maybe you simply have to choose a partner that has what? Aries, Emperor's energy. Oh my God. So you've got the star and the Emperor. Exactly what I'm saying. So you need to find a partner that has a strong sense of self um, and can push back. And two with an Aries Venus too, you usually don't choose a partner unless you feel like they can give you something, they're good for you. It's like, it's not bad. It's like, maybe that's how we all should do it, just be honest about it, right? It's like, you know, the reason I'm choosing you uh, to give myself to, and give so much of my life to, and my energy to, is because, you know, I think I'm gonna get a lot out of you. Well, that's very definition of uh, reciprocation. And don't love, We're none, none of us are babies here as adults. We're not getting together so someone can put a diaper on us. You know, we want someone that's strong and functioning and can, you know, get back. You know, if we give them a hard time, they give us a hard time back, you know. And it's, it's just kind of the energy of it, going back, a strong energy. 
you feel like you can push and you feel like they're pushing back. You know, uh, you don't want to always feel like you're pushing and they're just receiving, pushing and they're receiving, pushing and they're receiving. You want to feel it push back. You gotta go ahead and make that sexual, because it is. It's how the energy rolls in the body. Death. This is uh, in the position here of advice for relationship as a whole, and what you're thinking of here. It has to transform. That's what this reading is about. It's sticking in your head. I think as a manifester, talking about manifestation, you can't manifest what you really want if you're still stuck in these old energies that you're thinking of and wondering, you know, why didn't it work out? I wonder if they, if it could have worked out, if it might still work, I wonder what they're doing. And then all of that, that has to die and you have to transform into the outcome. <laughs> That's actually a wonderful outcome here. Will you let it go? If that does, God damn, I'll tell you what, you can't make this up. <laughs> you're you're going to transform, and you're going to let go of this, and you can do it. I did it. I think I could do it. This relationship kind of carved a canyon in my soul, and there's my life is divided forever into before that relationship and after, but I got over it. You know, it took a while, and the minute I got over it, good things happened. But I had to let go of it emotionally, emotionally let go of it. And I think that's showing that you will here. Um, at, that's the outcome. So this is an amazing uh, reading here. You see it in the shape of a heart. Because I've never really had the outcome where the Three of Swords was the perfect outcome for a heart spread. So I guess I should say congratulations, Taurus. Give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell. I need your help. Thank you. Share with a friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend, guys.